Hi, Richard from Digital Foundry here, looking back at 20 years of PlayStation. The original PS1 hardware launched in Japan on December the 3rd, 1994, so I wanted to revisit the game to find the gameplay experiences that PlayStation helped to bring to the table, and no single title does that better than Namco's Ridge Racer. Looking at it these days, you probably aren't that impressed. Native resolution is extremely low, text quality is dire, lighting is limited and there's no anti-aliasing or texture filtering worth bothering with. Depth rendering is also limited, resulting in the wonky polygons that zoom by at close range. However, in 1994, the launch of PlayStation offered state-of-the-art rendering for a home video games console. 3D graphics are the standard today, but before the launch of PlayStation and its contemporary, the Sega Saturn, console gaming mostly occupied a 2D, sprite-based world. Only titles like Star Fox and Virtua Racing on Super Nintendo and Mega Drive dared venture into 3D. These were brave experiments, but offered nothing like the Ridge Racer experience. Back in 1994, the best 3D games were only found in the arcades, where Namco and its rival Sega battled it out. The technology was still far more advanced than PlayStation and Saturn, but this was the first time that reasonably decent conversions could be attempted. Now let's cut to some arcade footage run under emulation. You can see that there was still some way to go before the home consoles could match the resolution and fidelity of the arcade experience. We wouldn't really get there until PlayStation 2. Looking at performance, the arcade game achieved a rock-solid 60 frames per second with considerably higher grade visuals, while the home game compromised by running at 30 FPS, setting a new standard for consistent gameplay for 3D titles and home consoles that persists to this day. Later on in the PlayStation's life cycle, Namco released a bonus disc for Ridge Racer Type 4 that saw the inclusion of a 60 FPS version of the original game. Clearly technology has moved on in the last 20 years, but it's interesting to see that Ridge Racer still holds up as a gameplay experience. It's brutally hard and not quite as accessible as its sequels, but we had a lot of fun revisiting it. It's a shame that Ridge Racer titles aren't part and parcel of a new console's launch anymore. But if we've come so far in the last 20 years, who knows what the next 20 could bring. We'll leave you to reminisce over some more Ridge Racer footage, and we're also publishing some PS3 Ridge Racer 7 analysis today, which you really should check out. But in the meantime, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.